The PV Point Comfort allows for a continuous supply of your backup loads at all times without you having to switch over or reconnect. So this means that the PV Point Comfort uh, will supply all your backup loads at all times from the battery if installed or from the PV modules. Now the first part to install the solution is to open up the front cover of the inverter. After we have opened up the inverter, we now have to disconnect all the AC cables of the inverter. Next up, we need to drill the base shell of the inverter uh, in order to set a second cable gland for the PV point to cable through. Now this comes pre-delivered with the package of the PV point comfort. You then take a stepped drill bit use the drilling template at the bottom here, drill through, set this and then we proceed with installing the actual print board. In our next step we take this uh, isolation plate, put it into the wall mounting bracket next to the, the grounding bar and then we take our print board and secure it into the mounting bracket with four pre-delivered Torx 20 screw heads. The two cables that come also within the package, the face and the neutral, uh, are stripped according to the manual and then placed between the print board of the PV Point Comfort and the actual connection point on the inverter for the PV Point. The grounding cable that is also delivered is connected between the grounding terminal bar of the inverter and the PV Point connection. Next up, we take all of the three faces coming from the grid connecting to the inverter and the neutral conductor and feed it through the ferret core that is shipped with the inverter package. And phase one and neutral will then directly con be connected to the print board of the PV Point Comfort. Phase two and three and the grounding will directly connect to the AC terminal of the inverter. The already soldered on cables for phase and neutral on the print board, these two, will now be directly connected to the AC connection of the inverter. Finally, we want to cable the socket of the PV point to the actual PV point connection. Now, therefore, we take our single phase cable we feed it through the cable gland that we preset earlier and then we connect the neutral and the face to the print board of the PV Point Comfort. Before that, we as well loop through the ferret ring. The grounding cable will directly go to the grounding terminal bar of the inverter. Once the installation is complete, we do the same steps in reverse and we put on the covers again. Before we finish off this installation by doing the necessary steps on the uh, web interface of the inverter, I quickly want to mention that it is necessary to have a, an additional type A RCD installed in the line to the PV point socket type A with 30 milliamp. It's also necessary to have a line protection installed. 13 amp line protection is recommended, 16 amp 
would also work. Now let's start the inverter by connecting it via AC and DC and then connect to the web interface of the inverter. Now for the activation of the PV point and the PV point comfort as well, we need to go to device configuration, function and IOs, and then we need to activate this toggle here for backup power. Open the drop down menu to the right of it, and then we need to select the PV point. Now, if there is a battery also in our system, we then would be able to set here a reserve capacity. So uh, a capacity that we want to block for emergency power scenarios. Let's say 30%, for example. And whatever we set here, we must not forget to hit the save button afterwards.